Welcome to this tech tip showing how to edit existing machining cycles and change the cycle selection using intelligent picking. Following a limited release in the previous version, intelligent picking has been extended in EdgeCam 2012 R2 to support most milling and turning cycles. Each selected element, such as cycle geometry, boundary, and start points, are now listed under the relevant cycle in the sequence browser and can be highlighted and edited individually. In addition to simplifying common edits, it is now possible to add new selections without having to reselect everything. This subtle change simplifies the process of editing existing tool path to pick new geometry targets and it reduces program regeneration. Edited cycles are now regenerated when you permit, not automatically, and you even have a new option to regenerate only the cycles that have been edited. Let's take a look at how the new intelligent picking works. Notice that each cycle that has toolpath built has a triangle in front of it. And when we expand those triangles, we can see all of the items that were picked for coordinate input. We no longer edit the cycle and see all the inputs here. There's simply a coordinate input switch that would be used if you wanted to start the whole process over. Instead, with the new intelligent picking, I can click on the item that was selected for machining and easily see the view highlight to show what was picked. If I want to edit that and reselect it, I can double click on it to edit it or right click edit and notice that the original item is retained. If I want to, I can go add more items, such as here. And then when I'm all set with it, I can finish. And notice that the cycle is not immediately regenerated, but it's now flagged tells us it needs to be regenerated and if I want to regenerate on the spot I can simply click the regenerate button and it regenerates the edited cycles. Now let's say that I want to copy this piece of toolpath. So I drag and make a copy and then in the copy I want to assign it to something new. Perhaps I want to change all three items. When I edit those, it asks for features to machine, and in this case, I want to select new targets. So I can simply clear those out by clicking on the icon, select the new item to machine, step through the prompts and build toolpath, and again, cycle regeneration won't happen until I'm all set. So I can take my time and regenerate cycles at will, and then when I'm all set, regenerate them. In addition to having this icon here, you also can go to the instructions menu, regenerate, and you have a new item called All Edited Picks, and it only rebuilds those cycles that have had entity selection redone.